Good evening everyone. Welcome back to the Ban Shon channel. Today in this episode, I want to talk about fasting the free medicine. And something that most people might not be aware is that fasting is a medicine itself. For those who are Christians are aware that fasting helps them connect with their spirituality. It's a type of spiritual medication. And Jesus himself advocates it in the Bible when he tells his disciples that this type of demon can only be cast away through fasting and prayer. Meaning that there was a spiritual type of treatment that was supposed to happen within the disciples themselves for them to be able to cast out the, the, the problem. So fasting itself also can be a physical medicine. It helps cure certain physical ailments. And in this video, I will be highlighting what are these physical ailments that fasting helps cure. And some might be obvious that they are ailments, but actually people might be thinking that it's actually normal. So the first thing that fasting helps in curing, it helps in cure a fatty liver disease. A fatty liver disease which can actually be caused by overconsumption of sugar or overconsumption of alcohol. So whenever you engage in fasting, you help in um, burning this fat that is always around, accumulated around the liver. And whenever this fat is accumulated around the liver, it prevents the liver functioning at its normal levels there's an impaired hepatic function an impaired liver function that is going to occur and this impaired liver function can occur in you being unable to absorb your vital vitamins like vitamin a vitamin d vitamin e vitamin k if you're not able to absorb these vitamins you could have something like night blindness especially for those who are vitamin a deficient you could have uh, very weak bones because you're not absorbing vitamin d and low testosterone levels because you're also not absorbing vitamin d you could have a, a poor clotting factor where you, you, you are more likely to bleed a lot because you're not able to absorb vitamin K. And you're not also able to absorb vitamin E. It means that you're going to have a lot of inflammation within your body because vitamin E is an antioxidant. It helps in uh, preventing inflammation occurring through the body. So if you're not being able to get these vital vitamins, this is an indication that you need to get to fasting so that fasting can help your liver to function at its normal level so it helps in curing a fatty liver disease the second thing that fasting helps with is helps in blood sugar control it cures diabetes and i'm talking about type 2 diabetes specifically i'm not talking about type 1 diabetes because in type 1 diabetes it will it can cause ketoacidosis if the fasting is not well regulated however in type 2 diabetes where we have uh, a lot of blood sugars within the cell where we have the cells over supplied with sugar fasting can help in burning this sugar that has been oversupplied to cells because when, whenever the cells are oversupplied with sugar they cannot take more in so the excess sugar spills into the blood so whenever you're engaged in fasting whenever you're taking very little food it means that this excess sugar can be burnt off and also it allows the better regulation of these sugars within the body the other the disease that fasting cures is that it helps in curing hypertension. Why does it help in curing hypertension? You have to find out what causes what actually causes hypertension. One cause of hypertension is that there is over reabsorption of salt in the kidneys. What can cause over reabsorption of salt in the kidneys? High sugar intake. So if you are going to fast, you will have a lower sugar intake in, in itself. That means you will not reabsorb a lot of salt. In your kidneys and so you'll be able to counteract hypertension the other mechanism in, in, it, in itself is that whenever you're fasting you're not going to be consuming a lot of uh, a lot of food that means the demand of salt in your body is going to lower down and that means the risk of you also getting hypertension goes very low the other way it will help in, in itself is that hypertension is also caused by accumulation of the um, triglycerides within your blood vessels within your blood vessels like the arteries which can cause arterial plaques and these arterial plaques cause the arteries to harden and it can cause build up of pressure however when you are fasting there is this uh, breakdown of these plaques within the arterial arteries and this can help win curing hypertension so those are three diseases that you have already talked about fatty liver disease their type 2 diabetes and hypertension the fourth type of disease that fasting can help cure is something called obesity. Obesity is, can be, is for anyone who has a BMI above 30. And for obesity, it means that if you are obese, it means that you are having overnutrition, you are overnourished. 
However, when you are engaged in fasting, it means that you are able to regulate even the fat production within your body. You are able to regulate even the fat storage within your body. And also, whenever you are fasting, it means that these fats can be burnt up for energy. They are burnt up for energy, meaning that there is a better regulation of the amount that fat is stored and the amount of fat that is burnt. However, when we are always overeating, eating every time, it means that we are not going to ever get into a stage where we are burning fat. We are always storing fat. We are always storing. However, when you fast, you now start burning this fat. Actually, and I want to tell you something. You cannot burn fat if you are always eating. You have to get to a state of where the body is actually takes some time out of the eating paradigm for it to start burning fat. So this advice about eating five meals a day or six meals a day for you to burn fat is stupid and it doesn't work anywhere even with animals if you over if you overfeed a cow it will get fat that's that's common sense okay the other benefit the other benefit or the other type of disease that fasting will help you cure is that fasting itself helps in curing inflammatory bowel disease and majority of people suffering inflammatory bowel disease without them knowing. If you're having excessive fatting, that's a type of inflammatory bowel disease. If you're having uh, bloating, that's an, an example of an inflammatory bowel disease. If you're having belching, where you take food and then you belt some gas, come, some gas out, that's a type of inflammatory bowel disease. If you're also having um, colon polyps, it all falls under the branch of inflammatory bowel disease. So whenever you're fasting, you're able to cure this inflammatory bowel disease it also includes constipation so inflammatory bowel disease the one of the best ways to cure it is to engaging in fasting and preferably if you can do an omad or a tumad it will help you cure inflammatory bowel disease the other disease that fasting help cures is something is a branch of disease known as the skin ailments and if you look at the pastoral communities majority of the pastoral communities participate in fasting especially right now when there's when there's a severe drought we could say that for them they have crossed from fasting to starvation which is not good however if you look at the skin tone before the drought came in their skin tone is actually very good and it's because whenever you are fasting there's that detoxification that occurs within your gut that detoxification when it occurs in, within your gut it will be reflected within on your skin because your skin is like a mirror of what is going on in your gut if there's a lot of toxins or a lot of uh, bad food that you are consuming it will be reflected within your skin you will have black spots you could also have a lot of acne a lot of pimples and this will be and this will uh, be easily reflected if you look at those people who are consuming their junk food if you look at their skin profile it's always poor however whenever you are fasting you're able to cure these skin ailments so fasting itself is a type of medicine and there are so many things that it cures that i've not yet highlighted but these are the major things that i've highlighted one it helps in curing a fatty liver disease it helps in curing diabetes it helps in and I specifically mean type 2 diabetes. It helps in curing hypertension. It helps in curing uh, skin ailments. It also helps in curing what we might, what we might uh, call obesity. Anyone having a BMI above 30. So those are the sum of examples at what, some of the diseases that fasting help cures. And I hope that if you fall among this category, even for the inflammatory bowel disease, you can start engaged in fasting as early as today start plan for it do an omad or do a tumad or select a day of the week where you, where you can be doing actually be doing a 24 hour fast the whole day so thank you guys for watching this video and uh, may i see you in the next one